The balance sheet close allows you to clarify in the customer's mind all the reasons why they should go ahead with your solution, product or service. Let's have a look at how you can get to that position with every customer. Now this one really is a powerful way to close the sale. It's best used when you have a customer who's having difficulty making up their mind. It's sometimes known as the Duke of York close, or the Winston Churchill close, or even the Abraham Lincoln close. But before I explain to you how to use the balance sheet close, I need to stress the importance of presentation and the need for confidence in delivery. Because if you lack confidence and present this close poorly, it will not work. Now one of the key things I stress to all salespeople that I work with is to look for every opportunity you can to make the customer feel comfortable, particularly if you want to engage them in the closing process. So if the customer seems undecided, my suggestion is you start by showing some empathy and saying something like, well Mr. Customer, I can see that this is a big decision for you and I completely understand how you feel. In fact it reminds me of my story my father used to tell me. My father taught me many years ago about Winston Churchill and when he had a difficult decision to make what he used to do is he'd get a blank sheet of paper like this and draw a line down the middle. Then he would write yes at the top of one side and no at the top of the other side. Then he would write down all the reasons to support his yes. So all the reasons for going ahead would be down this one side. For example, you did say the delivery date was okay, didn't you? You liked the fact that we could be flexible in our approach to the installation. I think you agreed that it was good that we could work around your requirements. You also said that the capacity of our new machine was exactly what you were looking for, didn't you? And maybe you liked the colour, etc, etc. Now you continue making every positive comment you can think of and list it down the yes side of the page. When you've finished, you simply turn the paper round, show it to the customer and say something along the lines of, well obviously, I can't see any negatives, so why don't I let you fill those in? How many negatives do you think the customer would be able to think of? Experience tells me, maximum of two or three. So you then conclude with, well, that looks fairly conclusive, doesn't it? Shall we go ahead? And that's all there is to it. So in summary, you get a blank sheet of paper, you draw a line down the middle and you write yes at the top of one side and no on the other. You use a story about someone famous or well respected for making decisions and then you complete the yeses and leave your prospect to fill in the noes. Remember, confidence and presentation are everything. This really is a close that I would urge you to practice and practice often. Balance sheet closing will rescue many sales for you from customers who cannot make up their minds. Good luck.